In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21 from the trips tight end formation. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that we do that is through these daily tips and tricks. And so if you're looking to become the best Madden player that you could possibly be, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with everything that's happening on the channel as well as whenever we release new videos that can help you um, in the game. Now in today's video, we're talking about the trips tight end offensive uh, offensive formation. And for those of you that don't know, I actually just released a trips tight end offensive guide um, for just $10. For just $10, you can learn the ins and outs of what I believe to be at least one of the top five offenses in the Madden community. It might just be the best offense in Madden 21. And so I'm going to leave a link to the entire offensive scheme in the description of this video. But in today's video, we're going to be going over, uh, again, one of my just one of my favorite concepts. And I'm in the New England book right now, um, which I believe they actually have the, a better trips tight end than, than Las Vegas. Some people disagree with me, but I really like the New England trips tight end. And the play we're going to be discussing is the PA counter go. Now, the PA counter go is a very good play against a lot of different, for a lot of different reasons, but one of the ways that we're going to use it here today is we're going to basically put the tight end on a streak, and then we're going to take the square receiver, we're going to put him on a little out route, we're going to take the triangle receiver, put him on a slant, and the R1 receiver is going to be on an option route. So as you can see, this is kind of what the play looks like. And all we're going to do is we're just going to motion that triangle receiver from left to right, just like this. And we'll start with some man coverage, but basically what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of different ways to beat man coverage. First and foremost, my favorite way to beat man coverage at 921 right now is to use the option route from the running back. The running back option route is really, really, really successful um, against man-to-man. -man. It's just very consistent, and it's just very difficult to beat. Now, due to the most recent patch, you're not going to see as much once as many one step aheads anymore on the field. And so this triangle receiver will typically beat man-to-man -man coverage to the inside um, as long as he has decent route running. So if you're playing mud, you know, you've, you, if you've got players like just even if they have like 90 short route running, which is pretty easy to get in mud at this point, um, this little triangle slant route is going to be able to be very, very effective for you. The next route that is a man beater um, is kind of the, the key route in this formation or in this play, and that is the um, that is the crossing route from Devontae Adams. You're going to see that that crossing route is going to do a really good job at just beating the man-to-man -man coverage most of the time. Now, um, if they if he loses the press animation, occasionally he will not get open, but that's why I recommend having your best receiver in that circle receiver position whenever you're running something like trips tight end. Now, let's talk a little bit about some zone coverage. Um, so first and foremost, cover four. I think cover four actually does a pretty good job uh, against this. Uh, just cover four. I think I have cover four with hard flats here, but if you take a look at this, I'm going to run that same route combination. And what you'll see is that this circle receiver is not quite as open. You see that because of the press of the cover four, if they press that cover four, um, because of the, especially if it's a cover four, specifically if it's a cover four drop, okay? It's not exactly the same if it's a, if it's if it's like a cover four uh, quarters or, or palms. But because it's a cover four drop, you know, you're going to see here that you're going to want to hit this right in here, maybe even a little bit sooner. But that, cool, especially with like a Jair Alexander, so you'll see here, like if I flip the play, let me show you what happens on this other side. So if I flip the play, it's the exact same routes. Uh, it's the exact, you know, everything's pretty much the same. But if you watch on this, it's going to be a little bit easier to hit this circle receiver if I just wait, 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 and then throw it up the sideline just like that right there. Because he doesn't have the deep out zone KO, I'm able to hit that a lot easier. So what you're going to see now is another little step with this. And this is, like I said, this is probably the best way to defend this, honestly, uh, is using this cover four. But um, this triangle receiver is going to be open over the top of the zone, as you can see right there. The out route is basically, and if you don't want to put him on an out route, I would also recommend like a, um, another thing you could do is you could put triangle on a flat. You don't have to put those, you don't have to motion triangle, right? So you could, if you wanted to, you could motion square, which allows you to put triangle on a little flat route. That's going to help pull the zones just a little bit better. Uh, and you'll see here, it's just going to open up some more space. And look at the spot where that slant gets is very unique. It's very difficult to defend. And as you can see, you're going to have a lot of success. So 
like I said, the, the cover four drop to me is probably the best way to defend this. Um, and so one other way that you can kind of get around this is if you take your running, or if you take your tight end, or I'm sorry, not your tight end, uh, but you take your running back and you put him on a smart routed option route. Uh, let me show you that real quick. So that's a little bit deeper. The problem is this gets into a little bit deep, like for the crossing route. You see how deep he's going to get, but you can throw this. As you can see right there, it's about 15 to 20 yard read, but you're going to be able to hit it very, very easily. So as you can see, that's a that's an easy little hit against that cover four coverage. Now the next defense we're going to be going over here is we're going to be going over this cover three, like Mike Blitz three style of defense. And so what you're going to see is you're going to see that we're basically with outside thirds out here, now it's going to be a little bit different. So if I take X, I put him on a streak, I'm going to use that same kind of, that same just kind of combination. But because they're using an outside third as opposed to an outside quarter zone, you're going to see a little bit of a different, um, a little bit of a different thing here. So, and right there, I was actually a mistake by me. I forgot I put the, I put the, the 25 yard flats out there. So if you put cloud flats out there at 25 yards, that does do very good as long as the cloud flats come from the top. So they have to come from the top. That's the key here. If they don't come from the top, meaning like if they don't come from like the safety or the outside corner, so if they're coming from like the linebacker, even if the linebacker is a safety, um, you're going to have success. So I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So if you see that right there, see how there's a window for me to hit this on the sideline over the top? That's if a linebacker drops into a 25-yard cloud flat. So that's that's kind of how that works. But Mabel coverage, this is really kind of honestly where a lot of um, – a lot of people started running a lot of Mabel coverage. The problem with trips tight end, um, as far as just kind of how trips tight end works, is this option route to the running back will really take care of a lot of things because most people aren't gonna put a yellow zone on the right side, they're gonna put a yellow zone on the on the left. So because of that, the yellow zone, um, you can kind of like basically just allow that option route to open up. If you wait on it a little bit, you'll see there's gonna be some spacing. And I, I, I kind of butchered that right there, but. Let me show you here. So Mike Blitz 3, I've got the 3 rec. I've got the all the underneath stuff down. The, the underneath flat zone, because there's no flat player, he will kind of defend that. But again, if you just watch here, I'll just show you this combination here. This is what it looks like. And again, if you just kind of wait on this, though, this will kind of open up. You can playmaker that R1 anywhere you want. As you can see, it's just something that it can really help open up the space. But... Mabel coverage, I think, is going to do the best. Most people, like, if they blitz you, so, like, if they're in Mike Blitz 3 and they're going to, and they basically have decided that they're going to blitz you with one yellow zone, so five man pressure, um, the pressure will come in um, fairly quick on you. And so, what you've got to understand is where can you hit quick. So, the best place to hit quick is that quick crossing route over the left side because a lot of times, this is kind of the format for people to use her out of the Mike Blitz 3. They're going to do something like this, and they're going to kind of stand right in here. So if they're standing like right in there, that's where, again, you know, you're going to leverage the fact that you have motion slants. You have uh, option routes to the back. You have streaks. You have some quick stuff that you can get the ball out of your hands, you know, just quick. You see that that slant opens up relatively quickly uh, over the middle. So... Anyways, that's a little bit about the trips tight end PA counter go. If you guys are, if you guys want to learn my full trips tight end offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link in the description, and you can get that full trips tight end offensive guide for just ten dollars. Um, it's on sale right now. So again, let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a text message. I'm gonna put my number in the description as well. But if you want to get that full uh, trips tight end offensive guide, it's on sale for just ten dollars in the description.